What's up, YouTube? So we recently saw that silver broke below $20. It had a support at that level and it broke below that. Now, people are probably freaking out right now. Maybe not. Maybe you aren't. Maybe you're looking at this as a buying opportunity. I'm going to kind of give you my thoughts in this video, but first we're going to go to the intro. Okay, so let's get right into this video. Now, I know there are going to be people who are probably going to be freaking out right now and probably going to be panic selling. Now, I've talked about this before. I told you this was a possibility. And if you follow this channel, you know, I talked about this frequently. And that is that, well, <laughs> there's a possibility that, you know, silver and gold spot price could get absolutely crushed down. And I often talk about how there is a difference between silver spot price and gold spot price in physical gold and silver. See, I had a theory that they are going to send these markets, all markets, whether it be the stock market, crypto market, even gold and silver, when we're talking about the paper price, they're going to absolutely crush it. Now, who is they? Well, <laughs> you know, the people who are saying you're gonna own nothing and be happy, the people who are saying that they've infiltrated governments around the world with their young leaders, the World Economic Forum. They have literally come out and said these things and their leader, Klaus Schwab, who was formerly head of the Bilderberg Group, uh, now taking over the World Economic Forum, has literally come out and said these things. So I always had it in my mind that, you know, there's a possibility that these paper prices could get shot down. However, at the same time, I do believe if they keep doing this, if they do send it down, I don't think you're going to be able to get physical gold and physical silver. I think what's going to happen, you're going to see the price of silver and gold, that spot price go down. But if you're thinking you're going to bank in now and you're going to buy into physical gold and silver, I think you're going to find it difficult to do this. I think you're going to start seeing shortages all across the globe and especially in America. That's my opinion. That's one direction this could head in. There's all different types of directions, but I have made it you know, known that there's a possibility if they do what they say they're gonna do and they end up sending these markets down, there's no reason not to believe that paper gold and paper silver wouldn't follow. But again, at the same time, good luck trying to get physical gold and physical silver at that time. I think it's gonna be impossible. That's why there's such a clear difference between physical gold and physical silver. And that's why if you're just talking to someone who has no idea about this stuff, they're gonna look at that paper price and they're gonna say, oh, see, silver is not a hedge against inflation. They're just gonna be looking at that paper price and they're not gonna understand what it actually takes to get physical gold and physical silver and that it is essentially its own separate entity, right? I've talked about it numerous times. I could care less what spot price does. Me personally, I love when they crush it down because I just buy more. I know it's all a big game and it's all based on manipulation. I mean, we've proved it time and time again. It's pretty obvious that they are way over leveraged in these paper markets and that they are absolutely just shorting silver to death. Again, this can't go on forever though. It will be interesting to see what happens though. You know, what happens with these global markets because make no doubt about it, they are completely 100% manipulated. 100%, there's no question about it. So they could do really whatever they want to do with these digits on a screen, but in the end, it's gonna come down to, in my opinion, physical assets. Those who are holding the dollar, I've talked about this before, they're gonna to come to the realization that their dollar has been so hyperinflated, it's not going to buy them anything. It's gonna be essentially worthless. And that's what we're seeing right now with this inflation. I keep saying it, it's not really inflation. It's more like hyperinflation in the fact that your dollar has been printed worthless, has been devalued, has been unbacked. And now you're starting to see the tail end of this thing. And that's what I believe is going on right now. And that is why I continue to take that fiat and to put it into physical assets like silver and gold while I still can. Because again, I do believe if they keep shooting this spot price down, you're going to get to a point where either gold and silver is going to become unattainable. They're just not going to sell it. Or you're going to see the premiums just be unbelievable. So yeah, they may send you know silver down to $10, gold down to $1,500. But when you go to try to buy that, wait till you see the premiums. It's going to bring you right back up to $2,000 gold and probably $30 silver. That's what I'm thinking. And if they don't do that, they're just not going to sell it. And what you're going to end up seeing is you'll start seeing these mining companies start stockpiling it because it won't make logical sense for them to sell it because they're not going to be able to be profitable. 
Okay, if they're going to manipulate spot price this heavy, eventually the people in control of the physical silver being the miners, they're just going to say, okay, we're not selling it then. Until we get a real valuation on the spot price and we can become profitable, we're going to stockpile it. So just all different directions this could go in. And again, I'm going to keep saying it over and over. Silver and gold is not for those who are trying to get rich quick. I keep saying that. If you want to get rich quick, go ahead, risk it all, and put it in the crypto market because that's going to be your best bet. But for me, I know the game that's going on. I've done all the research. I understand you know, that these paper markets mean nothing, essentially. I don't care about them. And again, like I said, when they smash it down with their manipulation, I love it because it gives me a buying opportunity and I'm able to you know, bring down the cost basis of my stack. I'm able to dollar cost average and I love doing that. It's a buying opportunity in my opinion. When you see red, buy. When you see green, hold off. That's how I always go about doing it. But I know everyone is different and you have to have diamond hands. And this is why I'm such a huge proponent of paying off your debts. That way you are not you know, forced to liquidate your silver or gold. It should always be money that you're able to keep in both silver and gold for long periods of time. Like if you are maxed out on credit cards, if you are maxed out on your bills and you're going into silver and gold, you're going to do yourself a huge disservice because again, you're going to be forced to liquidate and you're going to have to you know, sell for a loss in some cases. So that's why I've made videos on the past why you should always pay down your debts first and then focus on silver and gold. Okay, that's always been my outlook on it. See, I could care less now what happens with silver and gold because the money that I put into it, I could care less about. It's there for the long term. It's a savings account. So I'd love to get your thoughts below on this, guys. What do you think about all this? What do you think about this blatant manipulation that's going on right now? I mean, it's almost comical. We are seeing everything around us go up in value, but we're seeing both silver and gold decrease in value. And again, let's be very clear. It's not silver and gold that's decreasing in value. It's these paper prices that they're manipulating with these paper contracts. Okay. It's very obvious. Anyone with eyes can see what's going on right here. And again, I've proved this time and time again, right? They're way over leveraged. If you look at the silver contracts, what they're shorting and what they actually have, now it's below 17%, meaning they only have around 17%, it's actually below 17% of the actual silver that they are currently shorting, way over leveraged, it cannot last forever. So again, I'd love to get your thoughts below. Be sure to drop a comment. And as always, if you found the video helpful, please go ahead and just give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel so you get more videos on both gold and silver. And as always, God bless.